Hey guys, it's Gideon and I'm back and today's video is going to be a review of my kitten's playpen ears. So yeah, I am actually currently wearing them. I have two pairs from KBP ears, both of them in their realistic cat style ears. They have multiple styles, they have fox ears, I believe they have puppy ears, and then they have a kitten style which is not like this, it's like they're bigger and then less realistic. So yeah, um, I have two pairs, this is my, I'm wearing my first one, this is my second one, this is their cotton candy realistic cat ear style. Super cute, as you can tell they are baby pink with baby blue tufts. Super cute and pink innards, this is what they look like. Super cute, and then I will show you my white ones. So they are just white with pink velvet insides and white tufts. Super cute and fluffy, I love them. I haven't had any trouble with them regarding um, shining or anything and they are posable and movable on the headband so you could slide them up or down however you like. Um, you can open them up. You can open this part up and have them like that if you want. I personally prefer this um, more 3D style that they come in. So yeah. Um, Alright, so let's start off by saying they have a very bad reputation in the online kinplay community. They were one of the first bigger, you know, gear shops um, when Kitten Play first started becoming more popular. Um, so they have a bad rep because they have the take about eight months to over a year to ship out your custom and some people didn't even end up receiving them at all and it was just a whole bad badness um since then they have closed customs and are working on catching up on custom orders um and now they have moved to ready to ship items which is how i got these two um ready to ship items they claim it takes about two weeks for you to get to them realistically it takes about like a month uh, a month or two depending on how busy they are um but yeah, so we'll start off with my very first experience, which I believe were these white ones. I bought from directly from them. I bought them this one with a choker, and um, everything was smooth. Shipped in about a month. Got to me safely. Came in a very discreet box. Um, they are shipped in Can or they are located in Canada, so keep that in mind. If you don't live in Canada, shipping is going to be really expensive, and it may take longer. But they did get to me safely. Discreet box. Came with candy. Note. Everything was super cute. And yeah, no problems. Now we'll get to my cotton candy ears and how I got these. So this is actually my second pair of cotton candy ears. I originally bought the fluffier style, but since got rid of it on Depop, then I missed it, saw these on Depop and bought them. Yeah, I'm gonna shift and get more comfy. All right, so with my cotton candy ears. So I, so when you are checking out um, the ready to ship section, you can see they give you an option for shipping. Um, they have untracked shipping and they have tracked shipping. Tracked shipping costs a few extra dollars, um, but they give you a tracking number and it's insured or something like that. So I opted for the tracking for my cotton candy ears and they said they would send me an email when they ship and in, with the shipping email they would send me the tracking number, which sounds PG key, you know, totally fine, whatever. Um, so they, I got the email that they shipped like a month later, and um, it, in that email it said, by the way, we'll send you your tracking number in a separate email if you bought tracking. So I got the second email, and it's the same as the first one, so I did not get my tracking number. <laughs> um, so I did not get a tracking number, and I had paid for it, which is a problem. Um, I'm sure at that point it was just a simple mistake. I could have easily contacted them and been like, hey, I didn't get my tracking number. I did not contact them. Um, instead, I was just like, okay, whatever, um, we'll see. It, I ha would have contacted them had I not received the ears, but I did receive the ears. They came to me, clearly. They came safely, safe and found, all of that. Um, it's just I wasted money on tracking, which I never received. So if you do buy their tracked, their tracking or an insured package, make sure that you actually receive it. Um, I'm not entirely sure how their customer service works. I know people have had a pat, people in the past have had uh, problems with their customer service, um, but I think it really depends. Um, they also have a phone number. Um, you can email them and ask for your tracking number. Um, so yeah, overall, I think they're super cute. Um, there's, like I said, they're super interesting style. Like no other shop emulates this style, and um, I really like their realistic style because even though it's realistic, it's not hyper-realistic. So for example, Hoshikins and Woodland Creature Shop, um, they have super realistic ears, which is great. The more realistic ears, the better. I prefer realistic ears over 
not realistic ears. But um, I have my days where I want a cuter, softer kitten look. Um, these are definitely more anime and softer. Um, and I really like that. My my little set actually prefers KPP ears because, yes, they are realistic, but they're not hyper-realistic. So they're very more anime and more dress-up kind of ears, and I think that's what I love about them. Like I said, no problem with shedding or anything. Great quality, movable on the headband, all of that fun stuff. Um, I love KPP ears. I will continue to buy KPP ears. Um, but yeah, just be aware that their shipping takes a while. Price-wise, they range from about $36 to $38, depending on the style of the ears, I believe. Um, all that fun stuff. They're constantly updating their site. They have collars and stuff as well. I can't vouch for their collars because I don't know. I don't own any. I have heard that their bows are glued on. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. But other than that, the rest is stitched on, I believe. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I really love these ears because they're more, like I said, they're more anime style ears. They're softer. They're more, they're just, they're just, they're just a funner, not funner, but they're just, it's nice to have a variety of realistic ears. I, um, they're not hyper realistic. They're more anime. And I like that. So yeah. Um, I love KPP ears. I think they're super cute and I would highly recommend. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to let me know. Video suggestions are always welcome. And yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the next video. I'm not sure what it will be, but we will find out. We will find out. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a later video. Bye.